welcome back to my channel. Today I have another mini friends meal unboxing for you guys. It's once again a box from my dear friend Shannon. Um, and as always, she I don't know how she does it, she's an expert in putting a lot of stuff in a box. I open it and it literally pops out of the box. So I say we jump right into it and see what she got me. Okay, let me see. So like I said, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in it again. Um, first thing I see is this cute little baggie. I'm gonna put the box aside because it's staring in front of the camera like this. Oh, so this little baggie and in it I see some beautiful ears. So it are Cheshire cat ears. You have the tail here, you have a sparkly bow and you have the two eyes and of course the very famous Cheshire smile. I'm gonna try this on later and we'll post a picture at the end of the video. What else is in here? A little purse. Oh, a beautiful little purse. It's a Cinderella purse. And we see Cinderella, we see uh, Fairy Godmother, we see the um, driving carriage or the pumpkin in the castle. Very beautiful. Also very handy because it's so small. Oh, and there's a surprise in it as well. I see three purple Easter eggs. One with Mater on. I don't know if you can see it. <clears throat> one with Ariel. And one with Lightning McQueen. And then there's also a green uh, Easter egg. And here's something in, let me see what it is. Ooh, it's a little chocolate. And it's from the brand Blint. I always thought Blint was Belgian chocolate. Now I will have to double check. I love this chocolate, so I'm gonna eat this <laughs> probably right after this video. Uh, let me first put it back in the little bag. There we go. So I already have some of amazing items and we're just getting started. Uh, there's something else in this little thing. And it's... Oh! This one. It's a little scarf of Pirates of the Caribbean, I think. Yes, it's like this. And it has a lot of little uh, pirate mickeys on it. This is so much fun. I'm definitely going to wear this uh, next year in the Pirates uh, Festival of Pirates and Princesses and I will be Team Pirates when I'm wearing this. This is very cool. Never seen anything like this. Awesome. Let me put it back in here so we can make some room for the next items. Okay, what else do I see? I see... Oh, this is so cute! I see this very cute little tiny big feet, I think they're called. Yes, big feet. And it's Thumper <coughs> from Bambi, dressed up like an Easter egg, which is so adorable. Very cute. I love these tiny big feet. They're so adorable. It's very cute. And then I have an, uh, another Hallmark keepsake. I already got a couple of, of them from Shannon. This is a Lila from Avalar. I'm gonna open it up. Very excited to see how she looks like in real life. <coughs> oh. See that I'm going to break it while opening it. Mm -hmm. I always love the details of this stuff. It's always very detailed and very nice, uh, very nicely done. So like I said, this is Elena, and you can hang the cord on her back and you can hang it in your Christmas tree like that. Very beautiful. And then, there's this mystery black um, pouch with some paper in it, so we're going to see what's inside of it. Oh, it's a pin. 
I think it's a box ledge pin, looking at the back, yes. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's Rolly. Rolly, is that his name? Yes. That's so cute. So it's the um, Dalmatian who's always hungry in the movie. <laughs> and uh, a couple of weeks ago we were actually talking about that. Uh, and that our dogs are a lot like Rolly. <laughs> so this is so much fun that she got me this pin. He's actually one of my favorite Dalmatians in the movie. So this is very cute. He's, he's also very relaxing in his eating bowl, like, I'm done for five minutes and then he's angry at him, probably. Okay. Oh, next thing I see is this bag. So them already fell out. With a lot of candy. Look at that. That's not good for... Uh, <laughs> This is something when you start with it, you can't stop, like you keep eating from them, so... Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> but I really like it. I always like food. Unfortunately. Next item I see, if I can get it out, is this. Another mystery bag thing. It's very big, like it feels like it just fits in the bag. So let me see what's in it. Wow! Oh my god! I will show you guys what I already see. Look at that! So it's a, a Cinderella shoe jewelry tray. And it has little glass. I'm just gonna take it out first. But like I said, it <laughs> like perfectly fits. So she's an expert in getting things into a box. Oh, this went faster than I expected it to. Urgh. How did she get it in here? I don't get it. Urgh. There we go. Oh, this is so pretty. So it actually is a Cinderella shoe with little guts in it. It's one of my favorite mice in the movie. I also love that scene with the food. You know where it's like, I want to carry all the food I can. Let me take it out. Wow, this is also very detailed. This is so beautiful. It's also quite heavy actually. See that I don't let it fall. So it's a beautiful shoe with little uh, guts in it. I actually don't think I'm going to use it as a jewelry tree because I'm worried I might um, get scars on it or something. I just think I will put it somewhere behind me. I'm actually gonna do it already right now. Let me put it over here. So pretty. You can see it better. Look there. <laughs> there. It's right behind me. I see like two more bags, but I can see that there's a lot of stuff in the bags. So let me take this out first. It starts with some candy that fell out of the candy bag, so I'm gonna put that in first with other candies. There we go. And then it's in a Pandora bag. Which I don't know if it means that there's also going to be a Pandora in it, because that would be amazing. But the Pandora bag is locked together with a cute little Dante. Look at this. Oh, it moves. So when you wiggle it, his feet do like. And his. Is it wings? Yes, his wings as well. This is so cute. We can actually also hang it in the Christmas tree. I don't think it's supposed that that's the purpose of it. But I think I will. I will hang it in my Christmas tree when the time comes. This is so fun. I love Dante. Coco is such a beautiful movie. Uh, oh, so many stuff in here. Next thing, <coughs> Next thing I see is this cute little mouse. Don't know what it is exactly for. Maybe it's 
to hang on your keys or maybe it's also for a new Christmas tree <laughs> or maybe you can put it in your hair when you have like a knot and you put it around it this has a lot of uses it's very cute though I love everything Mickey so um, next thing I see is this kingdom of cute pin box I will show you the back so we have the teacup, we have Space Mountain, the Dole Whip, the Sword in the Stone, uh, Dumbo, this is, this is like a gargoyle, I don't know, it's from um, Haunted Mansion, I don't, I, is this like a, a, from the Jingle Cruise, I think, and that, I don't know, is it, but no, it's not a people mover, I don't exactly know what it is, I will have to look it up what the last one is. But I'm going to open it. I don't know if she already opened them. I still see the blind back, so I think she left the surprise for me. Let me see if I can feel what it is. Oh, I feel like there's a, like two bars in an opening, so I think it might be the Jingle Cruise or the mystery one. Let me see. Rip it open first. There we go. It's a mystery one. I will have to, have to ask her which one it is because, like I said, I don't exactly sure. Probably when she tells me, I'm like, okay, yes, right, now I see it. But if you guys know, let me know in the comments down below already. Oh, this one. It's so cute with all the little faces on it. Oh, that's the first one. And then the second one, let me feel, I think. I, I like the... I actually like all of them. <laughs> doesn't really matter which one. Let me see if I can feel what it is. No, I can't. No, I'm just gonna open it up. There we go. Oh, I think I know what it is. Am I right? Yes! Oh, this is so cute. It's actually one of my favorites. The Dumbo one. This is adorable. I think for me this is the cutest of the Kingdom of Cutes. It's called that, the yeah, Kingdom of Cute collection. This is adorable. Little Dumbo flying around. So these are two amazing pins to add to my collection. Uh, what else do I see? I see this. This is what it is. Let me open it. This is so cool. I actually saw this on the shop Disney a while ago. And I was like, should I buy it? I'm not going to buy it. What am I going to do? And I didn't buy it. And now she got me one. It's this cute little honeypot plant. And it's so adorable. I loved it when I saw it online. I also saw that they had um, like different designs as well. But this was definitely one of my favorites. I love Winnie the Pooh. So, this is also probably going somewhere behind me. Um, this is so cute. I really like that they actually made it look like a very real plant, but it's not, so you don't have anything to do about it. This is so cute. I love this so much. And let's open the little back black box here. Sometimes when she has pins and she has them double, um, she tries to trade for them, but otherwise she sends them to me and I'm betting this is one of her doubles. So thank you very much. This is, oh, this is so cute. I love that they have like blushy cheeks as well. And the next thing that's in the box is even more exciting. I can't believe she bought me this. This is so amazing. It's a Alex and Annie bracelet. And it's with Olaf and it says warm hugs. So when I was in Disney World on my last trip, I actually bought a couple of Annie and Alex, Alex and Annie 
turn it around. <laughs> Let me do that again. On my last trip in Disney World, I actually bought a couple of Alex and Annie bracelets. But it was very hard to choose which ones because they had so many amazing designs. Um, I ended up buying two decorational bracelets and then one with um, the, the carousel horse, I believe. And then it says, I live in Fantasyland. I bought that set. And now I can also add this one. It's so beautiful. We don't have that here, Alex and Anne. And if we have to order it online, it's like crazy amount of shipping cost. So I'm so happy about this one. It's so beautiful. Definitely gonna wear this on my next Disney trip. I also love that it's Olaf and said warm hugs. It's so cute. Gonna put this back in the box with the other pins. Uh, let me see. Oh, I see two pins. We already peeked at one. It's a very beautiful one. It's uh, actually from Disneyland in uh, California with Minnie Mouse. So you see Minnie Mouse in the castle and then the... Uh, yeah, it's a fairy wheel. Is it a, a California Adventure fairy wheel? I don't know for sure. Oh, you should also see the Matterhorn and the Space Mountain. So here in the back we have the Matterhorn and on the side we have the Space Mountain. This is such a beautiful pin. I also think that on the picture of the backing part the castle looks a lot like the Paris castle. Like in real life they're not the same, but I think on this picture they actually do look alike. So this is cute. And then the other pin, I didn't pick that it yet. So let me show you guys first. Oh, it moves. Let me see what it is. Oh, American Legend Mickey. That's cool. I love this pin. Amer yeah, of course we don't have stuff like that in Europe, because it's an American legend pin, but I really love this. Very beautiful pin. Just gonna put it over here. Okay, I think I see two more items in here. I see one item that I'm freaking out about, but I'm gonna keep it. First gonna have to show you the other item. Oh, it actually looks like a two-in-one item. One was hidden away. Okay, let me see. The first item, I think it's a t-shirt. Yes, it is. And it's <coughs> one of my favorite old school princesses is Cinderella. And this t-shirt has Cinderella and it says I'm fashionably late. That's so cool. <laughs> I love this t-shirt. I actually saw this like, sometimes I uh, look around on the shop Disney app from America. And I never buy stuff from there, once again, because of the shipping cost. And I actually saw this t-shirt and I really liked it. <laughs> so I'm very happy that I have it now. I always love Disney clothes. I always, every time I go to the park, I wear Disney-related clothes. <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one, right? Next thing I have is... I think it's like a tea towel for in the kitchen. I think I have it upside down. Yes. <clears throat> Look at that. I don't know if you can see it fully on camera. Yes. So it says the original Mickey Mouse. And here we have a little... Oh. Let me do it the other way. Here we have a little Mickey Mouse. This is so beautiful. I, I actually don't own anything kitchen related, I think, from Disney. Yeah, Max. I think that's the only thing, so definitely gonna use this. And then the item I'm freaking out about. I'm first gonna put the honey pot away because I already pushed it out of my desk a couple of times. So I'm gonna put it safely there. And then the item I'm freaking out about is in a Pandora wrapping paper. Let's see what it is. It's also in the Pandora box. There we go. Oh my god! Well, she actually told me she was going to buy this, but I was like, nah, she probably won't. She did. 
Look at that. So it's the little mini mouse bangle. Bangle? Yes. You can hang it on your bracelet or I think I'm going to wear it as a, as a necklace actually. I really like this. It's so pretty. I can't believe she bought me a Pandora. This is so awesome. Thank you so much. So beautiful. I'm going to put it back in the box. Properly. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, there we go. This is amazing. Okay, the bag is empty. And there is one more bag in the box. Like I said, the box wasn't that big, but when you open it up and there's like stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff, and there's no end to it. This is the end though. It's a big bag. And I feel some fabrics, I feel something like the plastic around it, so I already know there's uh, more stuff in here than just one thing. I already like the bag itself, it's like made um, from like a towel or something, and it features one of my favorite princesses, Cinderella. And the first thing I see on top of the bag <coughs> is an item, uh, she talked to me about this, she bought it in a uh, uh, second hand store, I think it's called. And she asked me if I liked it and if she can send it to me, because it also features Cinderella and I thought it was so beautiful. And look at this. No, I cannot get it fully on camera. I will also put a picture at the end. So it's a beautiful old school vintage t-shirt. And we have Cinderella on it. We have the castle, we have the pumpkin, the horses, the shoe. It's so beautiful. She posted a picture of it, but the picture is not like doing justice to the shirt itself. It's so beautiful. I also never seen anything like this before, that's probably why it's vintage. It's, I'm, I'm in love with this t-shirt, I mean first Pandora, now this t-shirt. I don't have enough space on my desk to put all the amazing stuff. Okay, let me see. I see some little foofies. The first one I see is Lumiere. Oh, there are my clothes on that. A Lumiere, and the first time I saw Ufufis, I was like, meh, wasn't really into them. But then I think I saw some Dumbo and Timothy uh, Mouse plushes, and I was like, they're actually pretty, pretty cute. And then I bought some more, and now I think they're all adorable, including this cute little Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. It actually fits with my Beauty and the Beast um, statue over here, so I'll put it next to it, so it feel at home. <laughs> this is adorable. It, it actually smells like roses, that's amazing. And I see also some mini Ufufis in here. Oh, Mickey and Minnie! Like, I saw Dumbo and Timothy in this size and I was like, oh, it's so cute. And this, this one as well, I really like them. So you can also separate them, but I think I will leave them on the on the carton and just give them together like that. I think Mickey and Minnie should be together, right? This is so cute. Then let's move on to the next item. Ooh! I totally forgot this. So I actually asked her to pick up um, this set. I collect pins. Sometimes I buy the plush as well, the Wisdom series, but I definitely buy, buy the pins each month. Um, and sometimes they get released first in America and then in Europe, and sometimes it's the other way around. I believe for you guys it's every third Saturday of the month, I think. And for us it's always the 18th, so depending on how the days are falling in the month. Yeah, so if she gets the pins first, 
she always offers to do a pickup for me so I don't have to stress on the 18th to also buy them. And she actually picked these up for me. So this is pretty cool. I love the quote. For good about your words and your swell. Yeah, man. And I didn't buy the plush of this series, by the way. I like the balloon, but I don't really like the, the color of the balloon. But I love the pins. Ooh. And there's an other pin. Ooh. And it's a Sorcerer Mickey pin. Wow, this is beautiful. It's a very shiny, very happy pin. So it's a Sorcerer Mickey one. He's dancing around before a big giant gift and it says celebrate! This is so cute. I'm getting a lot of pins in this, this box. It's not good for my collection. Also terrible at like trading and I'm like, no, I love these pins, I'm not going to trade. Well, once again, I don't think I'm the only one who's like that. And then I think I see one more big item in my uh, Cinderella bag. Let me first check if it is the last item. Yes, it is. And I think that it is a big giant um, beach towel. And I see this already. So I know it's from Disneyland. This is so cool. She actually went, she didn't go to Disneyland, but she went somewhere on a trip and they had a Disney store there that sells um, merchandise from the parks. So she's so thoughtful for buying me stuff as well. It's amazing. Yeah, I cannot show you guys as you can see. I will post a picture of it, but it's very beautiful. It has uh, the train, it has a Matterhorn, it once again has had a very shrill. It has, of course, the big beautiful castle. It has the Disneyland Park park logo. And that's it. It's oh, the monorail is also on there. This is so beautiful. Like I said, I don't really own a lot of Disneyland um, California merchandise. I do have a lot of pins from there because I have some other amazing friends who go there occasionally. And some friend who goes there a lot. <laughs> she uh, also does pickups for me for the limited edition ones. But f further than the pins, I don't really actually own a lot of Disneyland merchandise. Now I have a towel. What else did I get from Disneyland? I get the beautiful um, little purse. It's she got me. She got me so many amazing stuff. Like I, I don't know where I have to put all of this. Thank you, Shannon, so much again. I really love everything that's in my box. And yeah, I can't thank you enough. You know, you're an amazing person. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, for everybody else, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, put a thumbs up and leave in the comments down below what your favorite item was. And I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.